Hi everyone! In this video we're gonna study our second loop structure which is a while loop. While loop is special, uh, a little bit different than the for loop but basically it's a loop too. Uh, it's special because it checks a condition and if it is true it goes into a loop and completes a task. Okay, And then it goes back and then checks and uh, checks the condition one more time and if it is still true keeps looping and repeats this until the condition becomes false and we're gonna see that in our example previously we have created a function called uh, validate user we're gonna use it in this example uh, we will check the user my password and the user will have three attempts and if all three attempts fail, the user is invalid. If any of those attempts, and the user enters the username and password successfully, and then uh, in this case, we will just validate the user. So for that, we're gonna use the while loop. So if you, I'll just show you the while loop uh, very quickly. Here we check a condition and then if the condition is true, it will loop one time. And every time it loops, it will check the condition again. And it will loop the con uh, uh, condition checked again. As long as the condition is true, it will keep looping. Okay, whenever it becomes false, it just breaks the loop. So whatever you do inside the loop, it should somehow change the state of the condition to a false at some point otherwise it will be an infinite loop so what you're gonna have here we're gonna ask the user to enter username and password and then uh, username and password and then we will check it with our function that we have created previously which is right here validate user and this function will take username and password as string, order is important, and then it will return true if the val a user is valid against John B and ABC123 as username and password. Okay, if the user uh, enters something else, it will return a false. So we're gonna take advantage of this uh, situation. Username and password will be asked to the user, please enter. Um, enter username actually this is gonna be inside this uh, loop why is that let me explain that to you first we're gonna enter uh, and declare a is valid variable it will make sense when I start putting things together okay we have used that before but I'm gonna explain it again because maybe you have not watched the other videos all right and then assign if uh, a value to this is valid uh, variable so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check inside the while loop if the Use, uh, is valid is false and the username the number of the attempts is less than three in other words if the number of attempts is less than three and also the validation check is false keep looping if it's not valid keep looping and also the exam number of attempts has to be less than three okay so here it is the value for the is valid is gonna be false when we enter to the while check this is the checkpoint right and then we're gonna have a number of attempts uh, variable two we want to keep track of the number of attempts number of attempts it's gonna be an integer and I'm gonna initialize this value to zero because if I'm gonna use it in a condition check it has to have a value otherwise I will get an initialization error right 
so the number of attempts initial value is zero okay and then inside when I'm going into the loop I check these values is valid should be false okay and number of attempts should be less than three okay both of them has to be Uh, both conditions has to be correct true in other words but any of these fails if the number of attempts exceeds three or uh, the user becomes validated then I'm not gonna ask anymore I'm gonna stop looping and then you know stop asking what's your username what's your password it's sir it's sir stop asking about those so first uh, do I have username and password? I do. Enter username. It's gonna be entered as the user uh, saved into the username variable, and I will enter also ask user to enter uh, password, and then uh, save it into the password. Okay. And then I'm gonna call my function validate user with username and password and then wait for the boolean true or false value. Okay, and then assign that value to my is valid. Okay, so is valid will change its value depending on well that what returns from the function validate user function, right? So, and also, I enter the loop, and also I should all, uh, increase the number of the attempts at each loop. So it's gonna start from zero. After the first one, it's gonna be one, right? So, and then the second one, etc. Number of attempts value needs to be increased attempts by one at each loop so I can keep count of how many times the user is trying to log in right it needs to be less than three uh, that means zero one and two counts will make in total three attempts so uh, we ask the username and the password validate the user and then upload update the number of attempts and then we will check again if the is valid is still false maybe the user get validated got validated we don't know if if it is the case then this statement will be false and then we will just get out of the loop and while we're trying to validate the user number of attempts becomes three that means zero one two is wasted and we're coming to the fourth attempt then we should also break the loop okay and the at the end we don't know if uh, the user has failed or not that means if at some point is valid became true that means the user is validated then The user, our user is valid. Otherwise, invalid user. Or you will just uh, put a message. You have failed to enter a valid username and password in three attempts okay so we go into the while loop do a task and then oh, after checking the conditions we go into a task we uh, imp uh, run a task
task because the condition is true and then check the condition again if it is a, it is still true keep looping one more time come back again and then check the condition again both of them is valid it sure has to be false number of, number of attempts has to be less than three if that is the case again keep looping how many times only three times because we hard coded here saying that the we allowed user three times try to log into the system anyways at some point maybe it will become false because the, maybe the user is validated or the number of attempts exceeded three then we will check if the user was validated and then if it is the valid user otherwise obviously is valid is not true it is false and the user failed to answer uh, the valid username password in three attempts so let's run this and see <clears throat> if we have successfully implemented the algorithm username john b i'm going to answer once correct stuff uh, correct username and password abc123 okay and uh there seems to be a problem here yes i can see it right here number of attempts obviously and then one more time John B in the password ABC123 it should just got out of the loop there's no need to try three times right enter it's still asking me what is the username and password so to check that I should see if my number of attempts and I can actually watch uh, variables on the console but I would like to show you because it's not it may not be the case with the other programming language I want to show you what we do in general while we're trying to debug um, a application okay I just want to see the uh, their uh, values right while I'm running it okay enter the username and John B. What's the password? A B B C one two three. Maybe I did not type the correct password. I don't remember. Enter. So one and two. Yeah, I probably did not type the correct password. That's why. Okay. So it's a valid user. So one more time. John B. This time I will enter a bad password. That means false. It keeps asking me okay enter username john b and this time i entered the correct password on my second attempt valid user and then john b bad password john b bad password john b and valid password that works and then the last condition, uh, possible uh, outcome of this application, John B. All bad password, username and passwords, username and password, all bad. This is my last attempt. You have failed to enter real username and password in three attempts. So the while loop works as expected. So one more time. Before we go into the loop itself, we check a condition. It might be one or more conditions, and if all of them evaluates to a true, we go into a loop. And after completing a set of uh, operations, we go back and then check the condition again. If it is still true, keep looping. And at some point inside the uh, loop you have to change something one of the uh, variables 
to break the condition check and make it false otherwise it will be an infinite loop and then when you're done I mean when you break the loop you can keep uh, continue doing whatever is required for the rest of the application okay so comment on uh, the video if you have any questions thank you for watching